Today we'll show you how to hack a Hubble Freight flashlight that uses AAA batteries so that you can use 18650 batteries instead. So I got this Hubble Freight flashlight from Hubble Freight for free and it's very useful flashlight because it's got a magnet on the back here and you can stick it on anything that's metal and it also has a hook uh, that you can hook it on to anything so it's a very useful flashlight except the fact that it uses AAA batteries that is very unuseful so I want to use something cheaper to operate and by cheap I mean free these are from laptop batteries and the problem with this is that the housing for the AAA batteries they're too small and they do not fit in any way but if you put the battery this way like this here you will fit just fine like that and then you can just slap the cover on like that and when you use two 18650 cell and they are going to be in parallel so the voltage is going to be the same around 4 volts the reason why I can use one 18650 cell to replace three of these is because three of these in series they produce about four and a half volts and one of these is about four volts it's a little bit under voltage but it should still work just fine and usually for any power device I use three AAA or three AA or even C and D you can replace with one single lithium ion battery pack and in this case I put two of these in parallel so I can double the runtime. So here's the plan. Got a piece of foam sandwich between the two batteries. So I got a gap between the batteries so that I can put a screw through that hole right there. That's the screw hole. The original screw is very small and short. I'm not gonna make it. So I'm gonna replace it with this longer screw and then it's gonna go on to the cap and I should be able to reach through. Alright, so let me show you what I've got. I saw the XT60 connector so I can charge the battery. And I saw the, the terminal of the unit to the battery. Both terminals and now I can power it on. I also have to drill a hole here, the screw hole, a little bit bigger so it can fit a bigger and longer screw. And now all I have to do is to put a cap on and put the screw through. And then this gap here, I'm using some foam to fill it up. And then uh, use electrical tape to tape everything back together.
here we go. It looks great. Looks just a little bit fatter than the original. But uh, other than that, you can't even tell that this has been hacked. Except that the wire is sticking out like a sore thumb, of course. If the battery is low, I can always plug this wire in my charger to charge the battery. So I'll never have to open this up to replace the battery again. And also this wire gives me 4 volts output so I can use it for other devices. For example, I can plug this in here and I can charge my phone with it. Okay, just gonna turn this on. That's the button. Boom! It's charging the phone. And that's all I have for now. Thanks for watching. See you next time.